European hamster. Oh, cool! He looks like he's on a search and collect mission. Is he helping us? I wish. Hamsters have incredible collecting powers. Check it out. He's collecting those peas and stuffing them in his cheeks. Whoa, easy, cutie. That's too many to eat at one time. He's not eating them, not yet anyway. He's just storing them in his cheeks. Little pockets in his cheeks that hold food so he can carry it back to his den. Okay, he can't possibly fit anymore. <laughs> Silly hamster, that's impossible. <laughs> don't tell him that. I don't believe it. That's the power of the cheek pouch. I like it, bro. And they don't call them hamsters for nothing. The name comes from the German word hamster, which means hoarder. Someone who collects huge amounts of stuff. <laughs> That's cheeks, all right. Guys, the chips, remember? Back to the search. Oh, if only we had the search and collect power of our little hamster buddy. I know, but we'll never have another creature power again if we don't find those chips. Or if these guys find them first. Hey, well, maybe we can learn from some of the best collectors in the world. Let's split up and follow some wild hamsters. Time to get small. Great idea, bro. If you can't be them, join them. I'll head back to the Portuga and send out a Wild Kratz Kids Alert to get help. Thanks, Jimmy. Koki and I will be Team Hamster, and we'll head north. And we'll stick with Cheeks. Team Cheeks. Let's find those chips. Mini Whoa, wait up, Cheeks. Let's head that way. There's a hamster. Now, if we can just find at least three of those lost Micro XT power chips, I can get one of these creature power suits to work. Oh, I know Cheeky Boy can find one. I just know it. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like there's always room for one more thing. Didn't your parents teach you not to stuff too much food in your mouth? You could choke. Yeah. For a human, it's dangerous to do that. But those hamster cheek pouches are specially adapted to hold a lot. Uh. <gasps> a chip! Cheeks found one! Wait, no! Don't eat it! Cheeks! Uh. Give us uh. that! Uh. Uh. That's either a train where there are no tracks, or we've found our wild ponies! <gasps> and they're stampeding! <laughs> ah! We found the wild ponies! Ah! <laughs> Easy, buddy. Hey, why is the stallion mad at us? We didn't do anything. That's his job, to be protective of the band. That's the way a harem works. A social group where one male protects a group of females called mares and the offspring. Offspring? Where? There. Wow, he's only a few weeks old, but can already move around real well. <laughs> and look at the cool pattern and the marking on his face. The white marking looks like a ghost. Cool. Hmm. Let me think of a name that has something to do with ghosts. Aw, <laughs> oh, look how easily he gets spooked. That's it. He gets spooked, and he has a ghost marking on his face. So his name is Spooky. <laughs> Good one. He's such a funny combination of afraid and brave, and nervous and curious. Oh, his muzzle is so soft. Oh, look how he loves being scratched. Ah! <laughs> He's standing on my foot. <laughs> He's nibbling my hair. 
Spooky, you're the best. Uh-oh. We forgot to tell Aviva and Cody that we found the wild ponies. Oh, yeah. They are really, really into ponies. They told us to tell them right away. Yeah, but Spooky is so distracting. <laughs> He's tickling me. <laughs> Qué linda. Am I really seeing this, or am I dreaming? You're amazing. Koki, look at their beautiful paint patterns. This is magical. Oh. 